Hey guys, it's Audrey. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been a minute, I know. There is nothing special about this video. I just wanted to take you along with me on my Saturday and my Sunday morning. This was our first real weekend in the house. So it was really nice getting back into some old routines that we had before the house fire. You'll notice I'm still kind of unpacking and organizing. On Saturday, I just kind of worked on that. And then that evening, we had my brother and sister-in-law over for dinner. So you'll see me kind of prep for that as well. And then we just had a really easy Sunday. We made pancakes and then I kind of stopped filming after breakfast. So to start our Saturday, I just got the bed made. And then I got our potatoes in the oven that was going to be our supper. I like to plan ahead as much as possible, like prep as much food as I can ahead of time. Anytime I have a dinner party or any kind of party, that's one of my main things that I do. So that's what I'm doing here. Luke took a week off from working on the house. So in, on this Saturday morning, he was actually playing golf, which I was really happy that he took some time for himself because he has been working long hours on the house. He would stay over there and not sleep. So it was great for him to just have a Saturday off. And luckily there was no sporting events that we had to go to. The kids didn't have basketball or anything, so... Once I got my potatoes in the oven, I worked on the dining area. I have a bunch of boxes there that I needed to go through. A lot of it was purchases I made for our housewarming party that is next weekend. I will try to film that for you guys as well, but a lot of serving things that we don't, don't have anymore, so I bought that stuff. There was some linens, curtain rods, just odds and ends. Then I paused that to go start the laundry. Then I went back to the boxes and just finished putting everything away that I had unboxed. I broke down the boxes and got those out of there. So like I said, we are having a housewarming party next weekend. I'm really excited to be able to share our new home with our friends and family. As you know, I've been a long time coming and it's really bittersweet. Obviously, I'm really upset and still grieving the past and I miss my old home, but I am so grateful for our new home. I'm grateful for everyone that has helped us get to this point. My brother and sister-in-law that are coming over for dinner, my brother-in-law actually really stepped up and helped us get the final phase of the house finished. Of course, my father-in-law helped too. Literally, there are so many people I could list that have helped us, but enough rambling back to the video. So I had just unboxed some silverware as well. So I was loading that in the dishwasher to get washed. I only bought like a pack that only had like four servings in it that obviously wasn't enough and then I'm just peeling some eggs that I had hard boiled for our salad fixins for supper I had also taken our cooked potatoes out to cool so that I could turn those into twice baked potatoes and then I didn't get a lot of organizing done this day but I did work on our bedroom so I got some stuff organized in there and now I'm just laying out this rug that I had purchased I really wasn't sure it was going to fit the space, but it actually fit almost perfectly. I had like an inch on either side and that was it. And I am 35 weeks pregnant right now, so you'll notice a lot of waddling and a lot of sitting down for quick breaks. So after I messed around in the bedroom, I went out to the potatoes that had cooled and I'm just cutting those up, taking out the, the middle to make my twice baked potato filling and then I'm restuffing those. This is quite early in the day, so I'm going to actually put those in the fridge until supper time. And my potatoes are just standard. I'm just filling them with the um, sour cream, milk, scallions, cheese, salt, pepper, sugar, nothing crazy here. And then I had been craving dirt pudding, or that's what my grandma always called it. So I'm also making that dessert as well. Both of these things are really good to prep ahead of time. So that's why I picked those for dinner. And then you'll notice when I'm making the dirt pudding, I'm using that like Drew Barrymore Beautiful Immersion Blender from Walmart. That was one of my favorite purchases. I actually just bought it like a couple weeks ago. This is my first time using it, but it has an attachment for like a whisk, like for a blender, immersion blender, chopper, maybe something else. I can't remember, but they just pop on. It's so easy. So it's such a space saver because it's just that one machine. I just keep it all in like a little acrylic organizer box and stick it in my cabinet. But I'm like obsessed with it right now. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. And it was crazy cheap. I don't remember the price. I think it was like $30 or something. Well worth the money, that's for sure. I'm not sure why I filmed so much of this dessert, but here you go. You get like a whole snippet of it. It's really delicious though. My grandma always made it when I was a kid. She passed away in 2014, so... I've just kind of kept going with it since then, but it has like butter and powdered sugar and 
pudding and cool whip it's really standard and i know a lot of people make it but it's one of my absolute favorite desserts and i can eat so much of it that's it's actually dangerous because i can eat so much of it in one sitting so after I had finished prepping all the food that I was going to prep, my daughter offered to help me clean the kitchen, which was very strange. That's one thing about having a preteen. You never know which child you're going to get. Are you going to get the helpful, kind one? Or are you going to get the really sassy one? And for this instance, I was getting the helpful one. And I was really grateful because it is hard for me to be on my feet for like an extended period of time. Just, you know, your back goes in and out and everything when you're this pregnant. But so I was really grateful that she was in a helpful mood. It really made the cleanup a lot easier. And then I kind of quit filming after this and just enjoyed our evening together, but I did give a quick snippet of what our food looked like. Really standard, nothing crazy, just steak, asparagus, twice baked potatoes, salad, cheesy garlic bread, that was it. Hosting dinner parties was always one of our favorite things to do. Isabella always liked to help prep the food as well. So we were definitely happy to be doing that again. And we were happy our first dinner party could be with our brother and sister-in-law. So that was our Saturday. And then Sunday morning I woke up and it's kind of our routine that on Sunday mornings I make pancakes or one of us makes pancakes for the family. So um, the kids were like expecting it. It's just like it clicked right back to our old days of living in our own house where they just know on Saturday mornings we or Sunday mornings we have pancakes. My daughter wanted to help or she wanted to make them. So that was great because then I just put dishes away in the dishwasher and kind of did some stuff around the house while she got all of the breakfast ready. I was really grateful. Again, I you never know which kid you're going to get. And I got the really helpful one again this morning. That girl was gone by the afternoon, but that's okay. <laughs> and you'll see I'm not used to my new stove top. I had got out a pan and sprayed it for the pancakes. And Isabella was like, mom, why are you using a pan? We have a griddle attached to our stove top. So I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about that that so I had to wipe that off and then she did the pancakes on the griddle so that was really nice I love our new appliances so much after breakfast she even wanted to clean up so she and I cleaned up together and then that was it that's basically all we did we really wanted to watch Caitlin Clark play at 12 so once we got everything cleaned up we just chilled and laid around the house and did a little housework as we waited for the Iowa game to get started I did some content work on my phone and Luke did the laundry for the house. He was also home on Sunday as well, which I was so happy he was just home with us and not working on anything. I have so missed these just regular, normal moments in our home as a family. I am getting choked up talking about it, but we haven't had those in almost a year. And it's so nice to be back to normal. And I'm so grateful that you guys have supported me during this time. And I'm so grateful that we get to show you a little snapshot of our mornings together. They're completely normal. There's nothing crazy about them. But I am happy to be able to share my life with you. And I hope that you guys enjoy these videos. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and be sure to tune in to our housewarming video for next week.